Aleluya. Father, we bless your name, we bless your spirit, we bless you, God. We thank you, God, for what you do. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We pray that you lead us, that you direct us. We pray, Lord God, that you will direct our path. We pray, Lord God, that you lead us. We pray that you remove from our mist the contrary spirit that you remove from our midst the contrary spirit we pray Lord God that inside of us we'll be filled with you we'll be filled with you We pray, Lord Jesus, that we be ready. Ready to receive your promises. That we will be ready. Ready to receive your promises. In the book of Acts chapter 2, we see that the Lord is fulfilling a promise that he has for the children of Israel. We see that he is fulfilling a promise that he has for the disciples. And that promise that he fulfills is a promise that he has spoken of Telling them, wait. Lord, I pray today that that same promise will be fulfilled in our midst. I pray today that even as you speak to us, we shall not miss what you say. We shall not miss what you do. We shall not miss what you do. I pray, I pray thee that I will be the good ground to receive, to understand, and to bring fruit. I pray thee. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. The word for today is hours of destiny. Hours of destiny. People of God, you have to understand that God is not random, meaning, He does not do things by mistakes. God does not answer by mistake. If there is no demand, God does not move. For the word of God said that the Lord Jesus Christ, he went to his, where? Aon. And what happened? How many miracles he did? Zero.
Hallelujah. The word of God said that he went to his own and he couldn't do any miracle. See, when he told to the disciple, wait, what they were doing? Hmm? In the upper room, what, what were they doing? Were they sitting waiting? What were they doing? What were they doing? You know what spring is? What it is? Huh? In that day, what they were doing, praying for them, where they were opening the container. Let me explain. You can pray and be close. You will not receive. Are you following? They were not just praying, but they were enlarging the container. Because somebody told them, wait, I'm coming. But when I come, I will come with power. Now, how much power do you want from the Lord? Because if what you want from the Lord is just the crumbs, then you cannot be a son of God. Because remember, he told to the lady, the Syrophoenicians, that the food is for the sons. Let me tell you, you do not want the crumbs. Even though she received the crumbs, but the crumbs, you do not want it. Meaning, if you can be a child of God, you cannot refuse the child, you cannot refuse the sonship to become just a slave. Look, the mentality of the children of Israel when they came out of Egypt, they were still in the mentality of slavery. Why? Because even though they were being beat up by Pharaoh, they were still wanting to go back to eat cucumber. You feel what I'm saying? Even though they were being beat up by the oppressor, they still wanted to go back. People of God, if your mentality is still where you came from, you cannot receive from God. If your thought, if your mind does not set itself in array, you cannot receive from God. The question is, do you just want to be a Christian or do you want to be Elisha told to Elijah, I do not just want to serve you. I do not just want to follow you. I want to receive the Your desires in the things of God, your desire in the ways of God must need to increase all. You see, when I was little, I was going to church with my mom. And then in the church we were going, everybody they were almost like dead. They come to the church, they praise, and they go. And I remember my mom, before to go to church, she will argue with everybody. And then she goes to church. And after church, when she goes back, she pick up where she left. 
And I always wonder, how come be, before to go to church, she will argue with everybody? And how come after church she comes back where the where 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 the where the how is it that palabra? Where she left off the fight, she pick it up. And I wonder. But later I understood. I understood that the church has become for her like a I would call it a check mark. And yet God was waiting for her to transform her life. But she did not realize it. In the book of Acts of Apostles, chapter 2, the Bible says that they were waiting, praying. They were waiting and lodging the container. Can we read the word of God, please? Acts chapter 2, from verse 1. If, if you don't understand English, tell the Lord to give you English. Hallelujah. Si tu comprends pas l'anglais. Dieu Seigneur, fais-moi comprendre l'anglais. Alléluia. Amen. Acts chapter 2, verse 1. Go ahead, please Acts, read. Acts chapter 2, verse 1. Mm -hmm. When the day, when of, the day of Pentecost. Which day? The day of Pentecost. You know, you got to realize something. When the day of Pentecost. People of God, you need to be constantly in a revelation. When the day, which day? No. Which day? Day. Mm -mm. Which day? Today. You see, you are missing it. You are there when the Lord is looking for you here. Let me read again. The word of God says that his word is spirit and life. They don't have time. They travel. And they reach everywhere. That's why 2,000 years ago, what he said is still functioning now. Because if the word of God does not function now, then we cannot be saved. If miracle don't function now, we cannot be saved. If healing don't function now, we cannot be saved. Are you what I'm saying? Because it has to be true what he said now so that the other things he also said can be true now. When the day of Pentecost was fully come. Fully come. come. Prior Pentecost, what was that? Pass over. What it means, Passover? Death has missed you. Death did not come to take what belongs to you. So that when the day of fulfillment arrives, you have to be open and ready. There were people who came. Continue. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord in one place. You know, go back, go back verse 1. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all in one accord with one place. Each one of them had their own plans, but they left all they had. And they come and they came together. Somebody say, Lord, Lord. May, I not, may, may I be not the witch. May I be not the witch that will prevent 
your people to receive. In the people of God, there was a man called Judah. I don't want to be the Judah. I, 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 Judas, are you following what I'm saying? Do, do you want to be Judas? I do not want to be Judas. If there is anything that I don't want to be, it's Judas. I do not want to be Judas. For this reason, I make sure to work out the muscle of my faith to please God. The Bible says, when they were all sitting together with the Lord Jesus, eating of the supper, what happened? Now the devil came and You want to turn off this microphone for me, please? What it means for me is that if they were in the presence of Christ, and at that time, the devil came and entered the heart of one of the disciples while he was in the presence, it means he was not focused on Christ. He might be have, he, he, he was certainly bodily present with Christ, but his spirit was somewhere else. If you're here and your spirit is on your dokunu, you know dokunu? You know dokunu? You can be here and your spirit is on your miendo. Tu peux, tu peux être ici et puis ton esprit est sur ton miendo. Ton esprit est sur ton ondolé. No. Ton hockey. Ton pandou. They were in one place in one accord. They, know, they, they were not there just to be there. They were there to open up. Let me tell you something. While they were there, Nobody was trying to get nobody to be ready because each one was his own. You, 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 you got to get serious yourself. You got to position yourself where you fire up in you that flame. When you start firing up the flame that is in you, somebody can catch it. Verse 2. Verse 2. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. Uh huh. And it filled all the house. And it filled all the house. Where are you here? In the house. <laughs> Where are you over here? In the house, in the upper room. It didn't feel the monkeys or the animals. It feel those who were available. And suddenly there came a sound from heaven of, as of a rushing wind. And it filled all the house where they were sitting. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Let me explain. Sit down a little bit. 
When the day of Pentecost arrived, the Bible said there were 120 in that room. The 120 in that room, they were all expecting the fulfillment of the word that the Lord Jesus told unto them. What did the Lord told you that you are looking for it to be realized? What did the Lord tell you before that you are still expecting it to come to pass? The word of God says, is when they were assembled together that the fulfillment of the promise came. So as the fulfillment of the promise arrives, my question for each one of us is, are you ready to receive? And there, verse 3. Verse 3. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire, and it sat upon each of them. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like as of fire, and it sat upon each one of them. You know, before we continue, everybody get up. Stand up on your feet. Stand up on your feet. Stand up. Stand up on your feet. Do you know who you are? Est-ce que tu sais qui tu es? What is the thing that you have come to church for? Pour quelle raison es-tu venu à l'église? Why have you come in the house of the Lord today? Because let me tell you something. The 120 disciples, each one of them have their own house. Les 120 disciples, ils avaient tous leur maison. But then they went together and they assembled together. Mais ils ont laissé leur maison et sont partis ensemble et se sont assemblés. Pourquoi? Why? If you are not in the spirit in the day of the Lord, then the day of the enemy will sweep you. Si tu n'es pas dans l'esprit, quand le Saint-Esprit veut bouger, alors l'esprit du mal va te saisir. C'est pour cela que l'esprit du mal a saisi Judas. That's the reason why the spirit of evil has seized Judas. So my question to you is, do you want of God and how much do you want? Of God. Ma question pour toi c'est est-ce que tu veux Dieu et combien de Dieu veux-tu? Si aujourd'hui, if today, the day of Pentecost, you haven't received a shift in your life, whether financial, whether spiritual, whether Emotional, whether marital, then it means you will wait for the next. And if you are ready to wait for the next, then good for you. I'm not. I'm not going to wait for the next. Because the next, you don't know when it comes. Si aujourd'hui, ce que. Hallelujah. Si aujourd'hui, ce que Dieu veut faire, comment je sais que Dieu veut faire quelque chose aujourd'hui? Parce que je sens dans l'esprit. Une bataille, une des attaques. Je sens dans l'esprit, dans l'atmosphère des attaques. 
Why do I know that God wants to do something now? Because I feel and I, I see and I sense in the spirit, in the atmosphere, warfare. I, thank you. G give me this. I just put it here in case it works. No. Each one of you, chacun de vous, each one of you have come here today. Chacun de vous est venu ici ce matin, ce jour. Et I, I can see in the spirit how there are strong men fighting you. Et je peux voir dans l'esprit comment il y a des hommes forts qui vous, qui vous combattent. Et ces hommes forts sont, sont positionnés pour refuser que vous soyez délivrés. Et des spirits, des strong men, are positioned themselves to refuse that you receive the deliverance and the promises. Let me tell you something. The disciples to Emmaus, les disciples qui partaient à Emmaus, this disciple, as they were going, the Bible said that they were speaking with the Lord Jesus, but they did not know. La Bible dit, quand ils partaient sur la route de Maïs, ils parlaient avec les, avec, les disciples parlaient avec Jésus-Christ, mais ils ne savaient pas. Tu peux être ici, you can be right here. And you don't know that the Lord is truly here. Tu peux être ici et là en ce moment et ne pas savoir que le Seigneur est là, là en ce moment. La Bible dit, the Bible says, as the Lord was speaking, their heart were pricked. Meaning they were, they were feeling something but they, they, could not, they could not point on it. What was that? La Bible dit, pendant que le Seigneur parlait avec eux, leur cœur a commencé à, à, à comment dire là, chauffer. Il y a quelque chose, mais, mais ils n'arrivaient pas à, à mettre la main dessus, à discerner. Un clean spirit, un pauvre spirit, we take your eyes off the one that is worthy to put it on your problem, on your difficulties, on your stress, on your failure, on your hurt, on your limitations. L'esprit du mal, l'esprit malin, va te pousser pour enlever tes yeux de Christ et commencer à te soucier de tes problèmes, de tes difficultés, de tes adversités. Et quand cela commence, tu sais que Christ est dans les environs. When this happens, you know that Christ is in the midst. My question for you today is this. If you are not ready to be used by God, then he will not use you. Si tu n'es pas prêt à être utilisé par Dieu, à servir le Seigneur, alors il ne va pas t'utiliser. The word of God says he's looking for available vessels. La Bible nous dit qu'il recherche des personnes um, disponibles. I don't know who told you that you may not have value. I don't know who told you that. But it's not God. Je ne sais pas qui t'a dit que tu peux ne pas avoir une grande valeur, mais ce n'est pas Dieu. 
I don't know who told you that uh, you may not have from the Lord what you desire. For he said, if you delight thyself in the Lord, he will grant the desires of your La Bible dit, si tu fais de l'éternel tes délices, il te donnera ce que ton cœur désire. Combien veux-tu recevoir de Dieu? How much do you want to receive from God? Combien veux-tu recevoir de Dieu? How much do you want to receive from God? Give me the word. Verse 3. Go ahead. And there appeared unto them. No, go on the verse 1. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come. They were all with one accord. They were all in with one accord. In one place. Continue. And suddenly there uh, came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind. And it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared unto them cloven tongues like eyes of fire. And it sat upon each of them. Verse 4. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and began to speak with other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. And when they were in the house, they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and they began to speak. In that speech that they had, some of them prophesied. In that speech that they had, Some of them spoke the oracles of God. My question is how much do you want to receive from God? How much do you, as a person, want to receive from Jesus Christ? That day there was no preacher. Nobody was preaching to them. All they heard was the promise, and they went waiting for the promise. Ce jour-là, il n'y avait pas de prédicateur. Et tous avaient déjà reçu la promesse. Ils sont allés attendre la promesse.
The Bible says, unless two walk together. It is better to walk alone than to walk with a problematic, divisive person. Christ Jesus came to a time where some of the disciples left him. He let them go. You know why? It's better to have few than to have many who just do nothing. The day of Pentecost is today. And the word of God says, when that day came, they were all together and they received from the Spirit. Some of you here don't prophesy. Some of you here don't speak in other tongues. Some of you here don't speak the oracles of God. Some of you here don't see visions. Some of you here don't have visions. But the word of God says, when the day arrived, the heaven were open. From today on forward, every challenge of life that will come your way, Every adversity that will come your way from today on, that we all depend on today. Let me explain to you. If you are to be sent to the military for war, the future battle will depend on the day of your training. Because the day you were training, it was not with real weapon. Are you know what I'm saying? You were training with, with you, you did not have adversity and enemies. You were just training. But that training, you, you, were, you were setting up yourself for tomorrow. So that when the real enemy comes, you also have the real tools to take him down. So if the day of training you were missing, you must know you will also be sent to the war. Because as long as you are enlisted in the military, you are not exempt of war. If you call yourself a Christian, then you will also face trial and adversities. But when that day comes, Depending on the power of God that is in you, the power of the Holy Ghost that is in you, depending on how God will put on your tongue the fire to speak against those, those things, today is that day. How much of Jesus Christ, how much of the Holy Ghost you want? Are you not tired of her, of the same hole, same hole, with no experience in the real of the power of God?
The reason why Jesus Christ was different from the Pharisee is that he was carrying power. The Pharisee, all they were, all they were carrying was long robes. This is my question. Today, when you do die, what will be of you the legacy? What will people say of you? Today, when you are elected, called, and sent, what we do, what will you do? What will people say of you? You see, I want to preach, I just can't. <laughs> Hallelujah. I just cannot preach. Because today, is it has to come from inside of you. Alléluia. Je dis, je veux, je veux prêcher, mais je ne peux pas prêcher. Parce que il doit venir, ça, ça doit venir de l'intérieur de toi. Est-ce que tu comprends? Le désir de, de recevoir de Jésus-Christ, the desire to receive from the Spirit of God, must come from inside. For he said, if you search me with what? Car la parole dit, si tu me recherches avec quoi? Non, 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 non. Avec tout, de, de tout ton cœur. Please have a seat. Ma soeur, come here. Bien, bien. Bien, bien. Ma soeur, uh, yeah, Marie Solange, yeah. Come here. Tell me, today, what do you want from the Lord? A touch from him. A touch from him. Yeah. How do you want him to touch you? However he wants, right? Full. Full, right? How long have you been wanting that touch that is above all ever touch that you ever experience? How long have I been? Mm -hmm. Desiring. Every time. So stand here. Stand right there. Don't face me. Ah. Somebody help her. Give me this. Take off your glasses. Thank you. Celui que le Fils de l'homme sets free is free indeed. Celui aussi que le Fils de l'homme appointe est aussi appointé. The disciples of the Lord were walking with Christ. They knew him and they walked with him. They were chosen by him and they loved him and he loved them. And yet, they had to have only one day. 
where they had to receive something that they have not yet received. Paul, Peter, John, James, each one of them, in their work that they had with Christ, they had a burning passion desire for him. And that burning passion desire they had inside, they were all expecting to see the greater work in their lives. And the Lord came after he raised again from the dead. When he rose again from the dead, he came, the Bible says he came, and he brought them for 40 days more, more, more deep into the mystery of the kingdom of heaven in the book of Acts 1. And yet for three years, he taught them the ways of God. For three years, he taught them. For three years, he's been with them. For three years, they have power. For three years, they had authority. For three years, they were capable of operating into the ministry. But yet, there was a day where a shift was to come. They were now to be taken from the place where they were already in Christ into a place where the entire world will see them. Because the gift that God gave them, the ability that God gave them was meant to raise up warriors. So he told them, wait, until you receive that power. In the book of Matthew or John, the Bible does say that he breathed on them by saying, receive ye the Holy Ghost. But in Acts 2, they receive power to fulfill a greater ministry. They receive that power so that their speech will reach more people than they have yet witnessed to. They receive power so that they, as they speak and as they function, they will reach more people than yet they had reached. And the purpose of God in their lives is that that day was they had to wait. And they had to wait in a way they were opening up. Lift up your hands. The Spirit of the Lord says, He didn't choose you to send you back, but to cause you to go further. He says, When He chose you, He was there to cause you to lift up generations. He was to cause you to lift up generations. And I saw that in the Spirit, you were like hidden in the closet. And I hear the Lord say, Now come out. Are you following? Now it says, come out. I saw in the spirit as if it was a shadow that was attempting to withdraw and then to refrain you. And then the word of God comes, penetrate that shadow and then tear down and it says, daughter, come out. And I see the hand of God going all deep inside and then pulling you and then bringing you up and it says, daughter, come up. And I see the spirit of God even as it comes, it says, for I have chosen you before the foundation. And as I have chosen you, I have also appointed you so that a shift may happen. And in that lineage of the blood from which you have come, that lineage will receive a complete turnover and a salvation as ever never before. And I see the spirit of the Lord blowing over I see you now, and I see your children, and I say, My Lord God, I thank you for your daughter. I thank you for your thank you for your daughter. Lord God, I thank you for your daughter. Lord God, so I thank you, Lord Jesus, for your daughter. Lord God, I thank you for your daughter. Lord God, you see, the Lord has stopped everything that has to be done. Just because of you. Now I know. The Lord stopped the entire move just because of you. Because he wants to point unto you and put unto you.
The territories that the Lord is opening before thee, they are territory that were promised to you before you were even known of God, meaning before you knew him. He has designed places and territory to bring you into, and as you walk into them, you start possessing them. And as you possess them, your name is like a frame of your name or a stamp of your name that is being written in those places. And those different places in which the Lord is writing your name, every place will be held until you walk in those places. So those doors for which God has spoken of and has called you towards it, those doors are still closed because they are waiting for the right and proper key. And you are the key for those doors. And I see the power of God now overshadowing you and forming you as a key to unsopere proche kataraba. You see, you have been looking for a key, but God said you are the key. You have been looking for a key. You have been looking for it outside and outward. But God said that I have made you to be key. He said, just walk into those places and you will unlock those places. Walk into those places and you will unlock those places. For the spirit of God has chosen. He said, daughter, I have caused you to be a key. For I have caused you to be a key. I have caused you to be a key. Today, Sunday, the word of God says, when the day has fully come, when the full, entire desire of God was fulfilled when the entire desire of the Lord was put together. He made the choice to infill you and to cause you and transform you to become a key to unlock many, many doors. As thou shalt walk Thou shalt cause many paths that were crooked to be completely straight up. As thou shalt go, thou will cause many things that were forgotten to be restored. For the key is in you. For he has caused you and shaped you to become. For he says, you are mine. And I have called you and shaped you to become in my hands an answer for many. And I see the Lord literally. I see people praying and as they pray, the Lord literally sends you as a clear answer to the prayer. And I see by God and through the power of God and the spirit of God, I see the spirit of God through you and in you bringing in the life clear, clear, clear and clear answers. He said, daughter, speak. He said, daughter, Decree a thing and it shall be established. You see, I want you now to speak. You see, I want you now to decree a thing and I will establish it. You will cause the rule shall be I will seek it. Le Seigneur dit. Déclare et il établira la parole. Il dit, je te choisis, je te formé comme une clé. Une clé à laquelle quand tu arriveras dans des 
sphère, quelle que soit la sphère dans laquelle tu arriveras. Il dit, je te tablis comme une clé pour ouvrir. Je te tablis comme une clé pour to unlock. Le Seigneur dit, j'appelle tes enfants. Il dit, j'appelle tes enfants et je les nomme après moi. Il dit, I call your children and I name them after me. But the Spirit of the Lord now, I call the rivers. But the Spirit of the Lord now, I see the Lord changing even your tongue. I see the Lord even shifting and changing your tongue. I see the power of God. The word of God said, like a sound, like a rushing wind. The word of God said, like a sound, like a rushing wind. Suddenly came and entered and fell upon them. And the power of God that reside upon them caused them to become more than efficient. He's causing you to run over. He's causing you to feel. He's causing you to be filled. He's causing you to be filled and to run over. Shantara I hear the Lord say, I'm, I'm, he say, I'm taking away the hold and I'm rebuilding a new. He said, for I will not put on the hold any new. So I'm removing the hold. I'm removing the hold and I'm rebuilding a new. I see the Lord rebuilding you up from the ground. I see the Lord rebuilding up from the ground. He says, I'm going to put you in a place to turn you like a 360 degree out. Turn it around. You will completely, by the power of God, completely at 360, you will completely, completely and entirely rebuild. Father, I bless you for your daughter. I thank you for your daughter. I thank you for the word. I thank you for the work. I thank you, Lord God, that you meet now every expectation that you have planted in the heart. I thank you that you meet now every expectation that you have planted in the heart. I see like the mantle of Christ covering you. I see like the mantle of Christ. I see the mantle of Christ covering you. Father, oh Jesus. I see the mantle of Christ covering you. It's like, it's like, it's like people attempting, like unclean spirit attempting Witches and wizards are tempting, and I see the mantle of Christ covering you, and you become like invisible. And they will be seeking, they won't find you. Because I see the mantle of Christ covering you fully. Ah. 
they have attempted but they shall fail and they will continually fail for the covering of God for the mantle of Christ cause you to even penetrate the camp of the enemy without them seeing you you see them but they can't see you you see them but they can't see you the whole altar, you will break them down. The whole altar, you will break them down. You will destroy them. You will destroy them. You will tear them down. You will turn them down. The power of God that is reviving. The power of God that is reviving. You will tear them down. The family altar, you will tear them down. The witches and wizards shall be stopped. And the power of God shall burn and the power of God shall burn and the Holy Ghost shall burn and the Holy Ghost shall consume Parasotabra Katerirebrosodarakata Shubaranseriada Matore Yamelioski, my God, thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your work. Thank you, Lord God, for your work. For you have set the day. And you have said it, Lord God, on purpose. That your name be exalted, that your name be lifted up. You have set it up that your name, Lord God, be exalted. And then we glorify your name right now. Shift, Lord God, the atmosphere. Shift, Lord God, the atmosphere. And let it, Lord God, be reestablished into the building that you now make. Into the foundation, Lord God, that you build. Into the things, Lord God that you make uh, into the newness, Lord God, that you cause uh, for the God of Israel. Shh, with you. Parraos tibidara. Malo shedere belela. I thank you, God. Furi shedera. I thank you, my God, for you are true, for you are true. You are faithful. You are faithful. You are faithful, Lord God. For you feel you say that uh, ma pete da. Oh my God. Sorry, Yarabarala. My God, Tampari O Stevie Brondelila. Lord Jesus, I thank God. I bless your name because you are true. I bless your name because you are true. Hey Lord God. I bless your name because you are true. I bless your name, Lord Jesus, because you are true. Materios kiti dani la bala. I bless your name because you are true. Brother James comes over. Matere de bende ya matakata. Mamba de 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 boso de da da de. Ba de le le boso ni le le ya la manda. Matere de ho shokote. Mete ya ndara ba sekete ya nanda. Katareo soto robi kibiti aramadilila. Mandoro ro 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 bo sote kete de de yarabadi. There was a story of a lady. And that lady, she had a guy, somebody who were attempting to kill her. And uh, uh, sorry, uh, uh, she was from, from some country somewhere. And then they sent somebody to kill her. And the person was coming to kill the lady. And when, she ent- when, when, when he entered in the room with the lady, the Bible, uh, I said the Bible, the, the, the story of the lady says that the man was completely changed and transformed. He came with a weapon and the only thing he could do was to completely give his life to Christ. That same anointing I see over you. I see over you that those who rose and those who will rise against your welfare, those who rise, those who rose, and those who will rise against the, I see the same people blessing you. 
I see the same people who were against your prosperity, your finances, your health, your life, your family, your marriage, your household. I see the same people coming and coming from the east and blessing you. I see the same people coming from the east and causing you to have a turnaround. I see the same people coming. I see the hand of the Lord. I see the visitation of God right now entering the hearts of many. He's causing them to have favor on your side. He's causing them to have favor on you. I see many of them coming around and putting in your hands what God has assigned. Yes, Peter. I see the mercies of the Lord Jesus be upon you. I see the mercies of the Lord God be upon thee. For he said, I will cause the east and the wind thereof to release everything that were held. And I will cause it to blossom. And I will cause it to blossom. Even in the winter, it shall blossom. He said, for I will plant you in places that will not draw. He said, I will plant you in areas that will not draw. He said, I will plant you as a all season. He said, you shall ever be green by the power of God. In the winter, in the fall, in the spring, in the summer. He said, I cause you to be green. For the promises of God that are real, so did he add the Bola. The promises of God towards thee are being renewed. The promises of God towards thee are being consolidated. The promises of God towards thee are being now made. And the Spirit of God is causing you to rise. He says, son of man, I want you to speak and prophesy, for I put over you a tongue of fire. And as you speak, thou shalt see. As you speak, thou shalt see. He says, son of man, I have called you because I have loved you first. He says, I have chosen you because I knew you first. He says, I have called you because I have loved you first. I have chosen you because I knew you first. He says, son of man, I cause you to be my spoken man. He says, son of man. I cause you to be my spoken man. I cause you to be a notarized tongue, a notarized mouth. Thou shalt speak, he shall come to pass. Shatere Kabrasad. For the Spirit of the Lord is doing. Oh. Micheline, come here. For the sake of the Lord, I will speak in French. Hallelujah. So shall we receive. Quand Dieu veut faire quelque chose dans la vie de quelqu'un, il brise les fondations dans les qui ne sont pas de lui. C'est comme des, alta, des, 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 des hôtels. Je voyais comme si on t'a mis sur des hôtels de sacrifice à d'autres dieux. Et sur ces hôtels de sacrifice, je voyais comme si des personnes qui se réjouissaient de voir 
que tu ne pouvais pas avancer dans les places et dans les endroits que Dieu t'avait envoyé, des, des endroits que Dieu t'avait destinés, des territoires, des destinations que Dieu t'avait destinées. Et je voyais comme ces esprits sur ces hôtels se réjouir de savoir que tu ne pouvais pas atteindre les objectifs que tu te fixais. Et quand je vois ces esprits se réjouir, je voyais au même temps comme le feu du Saint-Esprit, le feu de Dieu, consumant ces hôtels. Et les mêmes esprits qui se réjouissaient, je le vois maintenant, être complètement anéanti. Tu vois, la main de Dieu est elle qui sauve. La main de Dieu, c'est elle qui restaure. La main de Dieu, c'est elle qui relève ceux qui avaient été abandonnés. La main de Dieu, c'est elle qui relève ceux qui avaient une histoire qui n'était pas l'histoire dont, dont ils désiraient. C'est Dieu qui réécrit l'histoire de l'homme. C'est Dieu qui réécrit l'histoire de l'homme. Et ton histoire que Dieu a écrite n'a pas encore commencé. Tu vois, il t'a appelé pour toucher des gens. Il t'a appelé pour guérir. Pour... Lève, lève les mains. Tu vois, Dieu t'a donné un don de guérison. Mais tu joues avec. Si tu veux connaître Dieu, tu dois connaître sa puissance. Si tu veux connaître Dieu, tu dois comprendre ses principes. Si tu veux connaître Dieu, tu dois comprendre sa profondeur. Il t'a donné un don de guérison. Seigneur, je te bénis. Seigneur, je te bénis. Dans la vie de ta ô oh, Jésus-Christ de Nazareth. Tu vois, ta vie est comme. Ta vie est comme. Tu portes le fardeau de tout le monde, mais personne ne porte ton fardeau. Et ta vie est comme. Voici comment je vois le Seigneur me montre. Tu portes beaucoup de fardeaux et tu te retrouves en bas de beaucoup de fardeaux. Et tu fais tout pour que ces fardeaux-là, que tu portes des autres qui se, qui, qui se mettent sur toi, tu fais tout pour, pour pouvoir les maintenir, les aider. Mais je te vois affaissé. Pendant que tu sacrifies pour pouvoir causer à l'autre d'être capable d'avancer, je, je ne vois pas la, la reconnaissance des autres. Mais Dieu change ton histoire aujourd'hui. Seigneur, je te remercie pour ta vie. Je te remercie pour ta vie. Je te remercie pour ta vie. Le Seigneur me dit, ce qu'il veut te donner, c'est la foi ferme. Il dit parce que les doutes sont la source de tes échecs. Il dit, ce n'est pas... Je vois, je vois Dieu, comme je dis, c'est comme des, 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 des hôtels qui ont été placés et des esprits et des personnes, c'est comme si elles te positionnaient là-bas et se réjouissaient de te voir incapable d'avancer. Et en même temps, je voyais comme le feu de Dieu, du Saint-Esprit, brûler ces hôtels-là et affaisser ces, 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 ces esprits. Mais en même temps, je vois aussi que la raison pour laquelle ils étaient capables de continuer de faire ce qu'ils faisaient n'était pas parce qu'ils avaient de puissance sur toi. C'est parce que tu doutais. Car quand Dieu dit « ferai une chose dans ta vie », le doute te prend. Et quand le doute te prend, 
L'ennemi utilise ce doute là pour pouvoir, pour pouvoir stopper, pour pouvoir arrêter la main de Dieu. Il y avait un homme qui est allé à Jésus-Christ dans la parole et il dit au Seigneur, « Seigneur, si tu peux, tu peux tout faire. » Et le Seigneur lui dit, « Si je peux. » Et le Seigneur lui dit, « Mais si tu crois, tu, tu recevras tout. » Et l'homme qui dit au Seigneur, « Seigneur, je crois, mais aide-moi avec mon manque. » Comment on dit en français là Mon manque de foi. Il avait la foi que Dieu est capable, mais sur certaines, sur certaines situations, sa foi était comme affaissée. Et Jésus lui dit, j'ai le désir de faire dans ta vie plus grand même que ce que tu as demandé. Est-ce que tu comprends Il dit, j'ai le désir de faire dans ta vie plus grand que ce que tu as espéré. Il dit, j'ai le désir de faire dans ta vie plus grand de ce que même tu as pensé. Mais il dit, tout ce dont je veux, c'est que tu sois capable de reconnaître que c'est moi qui ai écrit ton histoire. C'est lui qui écrit ton histoire. Ce ne sont pas tes enfants, ce n'est pas l'État, ce n'est pas le gouvernement, ce n'est pas les gens, c'est lui qui écrit ton histoire. Ce n'est pas ton père qui écrit ton histoire, c'est Christ qui écrit ton histoire. Ce n'est pas ta mère qui écrit ton histoire, c'est Christ qui écrit ton histoire. Et il me dit à partir de ce jour, je veux rétablir dans ta vie mon histoire. Il dit, je veux rétablir dans ta vie mon histoire. J'entends Christ me dire, il veut rétablir dans ta vie son histoire, mon histoire. Pour Seigneur, je te bénis pour la vie de ta fille. Je vois Christ... Le Seigneur Jésus dit, ma fille, je frappe à ta porte. Et je veux que tu m'ouvres. Je veux que tu m'ouvres totalement. J'entends le Seigneur me dire, ne sois pas effrayé. Il dit, n'aie pas peur. Il dit, n'aie pas peur. J'entends le Seigneur me dire, je frappe à ta porte et je veux que tu m'ouvres totalement. Il n'ai pas peur. Il t'a donné le don de guérison parce que dans ta vie, il y a eu beaucoup de difficultés de maladie. Des choses qui devaient être, j'explique, des choses qui devaient être C'est comme un projet qui commence et tu, tout, tout est mis ensemble pour que ça réussisse. Et subitement, sans raison, ça échoue. Sans raison. Et puis tu te poses, mais qu'est-ce que j'ai fait Qu'est-ce qui s'est passé Pourquoi Et au fur et à mesure que tu essaies de d'entreprendre, au fur et à mesure, c'est comme si, c'est comme s'il n'y a pas de route, il n'y a pas de moyen. Et dans ton cœur, il y a des choses même que tu ne peux pas partager et tu ne sais pas comment faire. Et la seule personne à qui tu peux parler, c'est Christ. Et tu lui demandes, Seigneur, Aide-moi, Jésus, aide-moi. Je t'entends pleurer devant Christ, parler à Jésus et lui dire, Seigneur, aide-moi. Et je vois la main de Jésus-Christ de Nazareth, comme passer comme par le fond du plafond et te tenir. Ta hanche gauche, je ne sais pas ce qui se passe là-bas, mais je vois le Seigneur poser sa main sur ta hanche gauche. Ce 
Le Seigneur me demande, me dit, pourquoi as-tu peur Qu'est-ce que l'homme peut te faire J'entends le Seigneur me dire, pourquoi as-tu honte Qui peut te honnir Tu vois ton histoire, je dis, Christ dit, il est écrit dans sa main. C'est lui qui écrit ton histoire. Et il écrit ton histoire à partir d'aujourd'hui. Les choses pour lesquelles tu as désiré, les prières que tu as portées devant lui, le recouvrement à la vue, le recouvrement à la vue, le Seigneur te rétablit. Et parce qu'il te rétablit, il te dit, ma fille, je veux que tu t'ouvres complètement et entièrement. Et j'entends le Seigneur dire continuellement, n'aie pas peur, car c'est moi qui te choisis. Il dit, n'aie pas peur, car c'est moi qui te choisis. Il dit, n'aie pas peur, car c'est moi qui te parle. Il dit, n'aie pas peur, car c'est moi qui te conduis. Et j'entends le Père me dire, ne résiste pas, ne résiste pas. C'est lui qui te conduit, c'est lui qui réécrit ton histoire, c'est lui qui lave tes blessures, c'est lui qui pense tes blessures, c'est lui qui efface tes douleurs, c'est lui qui prend et qui retire de tes épaules les fardeaux. C'est lui qui te permet d'être légère en lui. C'est lui qui te donne la paix. C'est lui qui est capable de te donner la joie. C'est lui qui est capable de te donner la compréhension des choses pour lesquelles tu lui demandes. Père éternel, je te remercie dans sa vie. Je te remercie dans sa vie. Ceux qui ne t'ont pas honoré vont t'honorer. Ils vont t'honorer. Ils vont t'honorer car c'est Dieu qui réécrit ton histoire. Tu comprends C'est Dieu qui réécrit ton histoire. Et il fait exception de, comment on dit là Il n'y a pas de personne. Il ne fait exception de personne. Il ne considère pas ta richesse ou ta pauvreté, ta grandeur ou ta petitesse, ta taille, il ne considère pas cela. Que tu sois une femme ou un homme, il ne considère pas cela. Parce que c'est lui qui crée tous. Et quand il veut élever, il cause, comme dans la vie de la reine Esther, il cause et il permet que la reine Esther rentre et pénètre le royaume et s'asseye à la table du roi. Elle était esclave. Elle était dans une dominance. Là, elle ne pouvait pas recevoir des faveurs du roi. Mais quand Dieu commence à écrire son histoire, il permet qu'elle rentre dans la cour du roi. Et quand elle rentre dans la cour du roi, elle reçoit la faveur du roi. Et ceux qui avaient fait des plans pour détruire sa vie, ils ont conçu et fomenté des, comment on dit, euh, les, les, les trucs les, de, pour se pendre. Les, les quoi Non, non, pour se pendre. Comment on dit ça Le JB. Ok, thank you. Ils ont fomenté comme des gibets. Et les gibets qu'ils ont pensé qu'ils allaient utiliser pour pouvoir la détruire. <rire> Eux-mêmes, ils sont allés là-bas. C'est Dieu qui écrit ton histoire. C'est le Saint-Esprit qui écrit 
ton histoire. Sans Christ, ton avenir n'a pas de sens. C'est lui qui est ta force et il restera ta force. C'est lui qui est ton espoir et il restera ton espoir. C'est lui qui te soutient. 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 Ma fille Isia Shara Sois béni. Alléluia. 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 C'est Jésus qui tient notre souffle. C'est God, c'est Christ qui holds our breath and every beating of your heart is a testimony that he is God. Every beat of your heart is a testimony that he is God. Father, I bless your name. I thank you for your children. I thank you for the work that you do in their lives. I thank you for what you do now. Where you are, the Lord wants to touch you in a particular way. The Lord wants to minister unto you. The same way he called his disciple, he had them taken off the shoe and he ministered unto them, washing their feet. The Lord wants to minister unto you where you at. He wants to touch you where you at. He wants to put his hand on every places of your life. He wants to place his hand in every adversity in your life. He wants to place his hand in every shadow. He's ministering to your soul. He's ministering to your spirit. Is ministering to your heart. For he is the one who loved you the first. And he gave his life as a ransom. He gave his life as a ransom. So that all the debts that the enemy will take against thee will be void, null, and non effect. I thank you, Lord, for all your children, for the work that you do. I thank you, Lord, for each one of us. And I bless you, and evermore, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, amen.